continue. Um, thank you so much. Ngayon pag-uusapan natin ang four major non-communicable diseases. Ibig sabihin wala po dito ang COVID kasi nakakahawa ang COVID and the four na na major non-communicable diseases are those diseases na hindi nakaka nakakahawa pero siya yung kumikita sa buhay ng mga tao. Ito po ay nakasulat po sa libro. Kaya be very careful of this. That simply means that it's not only Filipinos who are experiencing the non-communicable diseases. So I'm diagnosed to have the non-communicable diseases. Number one is cardiovascular diseases. Ibig sabihin, yung ugat po sa puso po natin, kung saan dumadaloy ang dugo po natin, ito po ang may problema. Gawa po ng sinabi ko kanina, ang dami pong pagkain na nagkukos ng nagbibigay po ng fat deposits dito. Ibig sabihin, yung namumuo, dito po sa ugat po natin, siya yung nagkukos ng disease. Uulitin ko yung sinabi ko last time. Pag uwi nyo ng bahay o na, nasa bahay kayo ngayon, ilagay nyo po sa fridge yung mantika na ginagamit nyo. Pag yan po, kinabukasan na mo o itapon nyo kasi galing po yan sa hayop. So, pag yan, fluid pa rin o liquid pa rin, ibig sabihin, yayamanin ka. Ibig sabihin, ang ginagamit mo ay vegetable oil. That simply means that vegetable oil is being recommended because those are the good source of good cholesterol. Yung galing po sa hayop na namumuo, pag yan, araw-araw po na ginagamit natin sa mga prinipreto po natin, be careful. It's because yan yung namumuo dito sa gilid ng blood vessels natin. Nagkakaintindihan po tayo. Etong blood vessels na eto, paunti-unti, yung taba na naiinom po, nakakain po natin, yan yung namumuo sa gilid. And definitely, yung ugat na supposedly malaki at sufficient yung space for the circulation of the blood that circulates throughout our body, naiimpede po siya. Ibig sabihin, nagkakaroon ng blockage resulting to limiting the space kung saan dumadaan yung red blood cell natin and considering that your red blood cell is carrying oxygen na papunta po sa organs natin, napapahinto po siya. Kumukonte ang sirkulasyon. The reason why nagkakaroon ng heart attack because of the absence of oxygen. Nawawala po yung oxygen. Bakit nawawala ang oxygen? Dahil konti lang po ang nagsisirculate na dugo, nagdadala ng oxygen coming from the lungs. Ibig sabihin, pag may namuo dyan, pwedeng may total blockage. Pag nagkaroon ng total blockage, wala na pong papasok na blood, wala nang papasok na oxygen, kaya meron tayong heart attack. Pag yan nangyari sa puso, heart attack. Pag yan nangyari sa ugat sa utak, that is stroke. Do you understand? Kaya be careful kayo sa pagkain ng matataba, ma, ma, pagkain na, na pinerito gamit ang oil coming from the animal sources. Gaya ng sinabi ko, uulitin ko, paano malalaman if that oil is coming from the animal sources sa tindahan nyo binili, hindi sa supermarket, is because once you purchase it in the supermarket, makikita nyo naman po, nakalagay vegetable oil. Okay? Pero kung sa tindahan, ilagay muna sa fridge bago gamitan sa pagluto, pag namo, itapon. Kasi mas mataas ang presyo ng hospitalization kaysa sa presyo ng binili nyo mantika. Okay? Pag yan, araw-araw ginamit nyo, eto ang posibilidad na mangyari sa katawan nyo. Merong blockage, may nagbabara. Pag may nagbara, hindi kompleto, hindi magandang sirkulasyon ng dugo. Since your red blood cell ay nagdadala ng oxygen para mabuhay ang organ natin, namamatay ang organ kasi nabablock ng bara sa katawan po natin na sadhi ng mga mantika na galing sa hayop. Okay? Be careful with this. Cancer definitely is one of the reasons why people are, are, are being killed as of this time aside from COVID. Ang dami na po nang namamatay. Last month lang yung sinabi ko na teacher. So be careful. Ang dami po ng stress na nai-experience ng mga magtut mag nagtuturo ngayon isa ang stress sa pumapatay sa tao because isa ang stress na nagpapababa ng immune system natin, bumabagsak ang immune system natin, resulting to oxidative stress, 
Kaya nag-grow ang cancer cells sa katawan natin trying to invade our body. Kung saan dumami ang cancer cells, definitely yun yung organ na tatamaan ng cancer. So, the fucoidan in our in our the fucoidan in our porcher placenta, the presence of fucoidan in our porcher placenta, pag ininom mo yon is killing the cancer cells. Kusang magpapakamatay ang cancer cells with the presence of fucoidan. Kaya isa sa reason yon kung bakit ang daming testimonies ng cancer stage 3, stage 4 na gumagaling, it's because our stem cells do not only replicate the existence, replicate the, 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 the remaining healthy, can, uh, healthy cells in our body, pero yung presence ng fucoidan ng nucleic lavem ay tumutulong na patayin yung cancer cells sa katawan natin. So, dinadamihan, minumultiply, dinuduplicate ng stem cell, yung remaining healthy cells in our body, and at the same time, it is killing the cancer cells that is giving the disease to our patients. Kaya, After chemotherapy, ngayon pa lang na-discover ng client na meron pa lang porcher placenta, i-maintain ang porcher placenta stem cell. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Dito na papasok. Pag meron kang asthma, pag meron kang bronchitis, pag meron kang emphysema, pag ikaw nakasimhot ng virus, which is the COVID virus, definitely ang bilis ng pagkamatay ng pasyente. Bakit? Dysfunctional na. Bakit? Sira na po ang lungs ng pasyente, papasukan pa ng virus, and the number one target of our COVID-19 is the lungs, or the lungs of our body. Kaya if you have asthma, if you have emphysema, if you have bronchitis, please boost the immune system by maintaining at least one to two capsules of poetry placenta every day. Be careful with this. And the diabetes mellitus. Gaya nga nang sinabi ko, ang problema ng diabetes mellitus is the inability of the pancreas na mag-produce ng insulin. Sir, bakit po ba nagkakaproblema? Because of number one, sigarilyo, eto po, high blood pressure, cholesterol, overweight, and sedentary lifestyle ng pasyente. Walang exercise. Kaya tatandaan nyo, walang exercise, vices, plus unhealthy diet. Ito ang nagbibigay ng problema sa ating katawan. Ito ang nagbibigay ng sakit sa ating katawan. Kaya you must be very careful with this. Kaya for those who are diagnosed to have diabetes mellitus already, please start taking our Poichir Placenta habang may oras pa na i-multiply ng stem cell yung remaining healthy cells sa pancreas natin at matulungan yung pancreas natin na mag-produce ng maraming beta cells. It's because the beta cells is responsible for the production of insulin. The moment na may stem cell, ang, ang pancreas po natin, ang organ natin, padadamihin ang healthy cells. Kaya yung mga nag-insulin, yung mga nagda-dialysis, ang dami po ng mga dialysis patients natin, insulin-dependent patients po natin, problem with kidney, clients with uh, problem with kidney, nagdadalawang dialysis every week, nag-iisang dialysis na lang, it's because the poitier placenta is helping the kidney to regain health, na nakakatulong ang health natin. sa Meron ako isang isang pasyente, nakausap, um, dato si other man, ang sabi sa kanya ng, ng dialysis center, ihinto ang porcher. It's because he was taking porcher. This is a reality. This happened to one of the patients. Sabi, ihinto ang porcher kasi muntik na ang pasyente na ma-ICU because in the middle of dialysis, nagka-problema ang pasyente. So they are supposed to bring the patient to the ICU But uh, in the dialysis, uh, dialysis center, naagapan ng pasyente. Ang tinuturo na dahilan, pinahinto ng nurses, ang pagtake ng poor cheer, it's because yun daw ang dahilan. When I went to the patient, ang tinitake pala ng patient kung bakit naglala ang sitwasyon ng pasyente was the other, caps, the other tablet. 
yung iniinom ng mga nag uh, yung yung iniinom ng mga nang nagji-gym. So sabi ko, kinonfirm ko, ano po ba ang ininom nyo nang lumala ang sakit nyo? Was it the porcher or was it the the other medication? Sabi niya yung isa po yung tableta. Actually sabi ng patient nung time na uminom ako ng porcher, nakaihi na ako nang maayos. And at that time, gumanda ang tsura ko, lumusog ang katawan ko, gumana ang pagkain ko. So sabi ko, why stop the porcher? Kasi pinahinto po ng nurse. And it so happened that one of the nurses was my student. Sabi ko sa kanya, did you ask the patient kung ano ang naging cause nung paglala ng sakit ng pasyente? Sabi niya, hindi po nila sinabi na yung isang gamot na pinabigay sa kanila na supplement. Definitely, it's because uh, that is coming from from the byproduct of the protein. Yung yung iniinom po ng na mga iniinom ng mga nagji-gym para lumaki yung muscles. Sabi ko, eh napakabigat niyan sa kidney at napakibigat niyan sa liver. Kaya yun ang naging cause kung bakit lumala ang sakit ng pasyente. It's not the porcher. The reason is the patient verbalized that he was already able to urinate properly. Ang ganda na ng sitwasyon niya. Pinahinto niyo. Sabi ko sa pasyente, balikan mo ang porcher. You take the porcher again and you observe. Kasi yun yung nagpaayos ang condition mo. Sabi ng patient, yes, I will. Kasi at that time when I take when I took porcher, umayos ang pakiramdam ko. He was having dialysis twice a week. So please uh, ask the patient. Ask the patient. Be careful with that. Kasi naituturo minsan yung porcher natin eh. Where in fact, pag nagtitake ng porcher ang kliyente, don't advise the patient na mag-inom ng ibang produkto, lalong-lalo na yung mga hindi prescribed ng doctor. Kasi lahat, pag may sakit ang pasyente, lalapit. Inumin mo to, inumin mo to, inumin mo to. And be careful with that. Baka ituro yung produkto natin. So, we need to promote healthy lifestyle. Hindi lang yung nakaupo ang pasyente. Ano po ba ang pumapatay sa atin sa araw-araw? Diseases of the heart and blood vessels. Number one is hypertension. Be careful with this. Try to ask the patient. Ito po ang risk factors. Ibig sabihin, ito po ang pwedeng pagkumpisa ng sakit ng pasyente. The age, the gender, the heredity. Tatlo po ito, importante. Faulty eating habits. If you are diagnosed to have hypertension, huwag na pong kumain ng meat and meat products kasi isa yan sa nagbibigay ng sakit at atake sa iyo. Sedentary lifestyle. Mag-exercise din po at least 20 to 30 minutes a, a, a day. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go to the gym for exercise magbuhat ka walking for 20 minutes is already considered as exercise addictions obesity pag sa tingin mo sobrang taas na ng ng weight mo naggo bian ka sa sa BMI mo please magbawas po okay and definitely stress magbawas ng timbang eto pag mahilig po ng salty food ang pasyente ang kliyente Bawasan po because sodium is attracting the water and water retention nag increase po ng blood pressure, ng pressure sa ugat ng pasyente. Kaya sa mga hypertensive, binabawasan ng asukal, ang, ang asin. If the patient is taking alcoholic beverages, please stop that. If the patient is smoker, please stop that. You try to ask the history of the family. Ilan po ba ang namatay dahil sa stroke and stress as well? Ang normal po ng blood pressure natin is 120 over 80. But the normal blood pressure is 100 before it's 140 over 90. From 90 over 60 to 140 over 90. Pero may linabas ngayon ang World Health Organization that the normal value of your blood pressure is 89 over 59 to 139 over 
isulat 110 uh, isulat 189 over 59 normal pa pero pag bumagsak ka na ng 89 below 89 over 59 ibig sabihin hypotensive na ang pasyente mababa ang blood pressure ng pasyente pag ang blood pressure ng pasyenta ay umabot ng 139 over 89, that is still normal. Pero pag lumab... Depende po sa edad ha, if the client is less than 40 at eto na ang blood pressure niya, magduda ka na ng hypertension. Ibig sabihin, dapat may blood pressure diary ka na. Na pag yan araw-araw, sunod-sunod, 139 over 89, eto nga pag umabot na ng lima araw-araw, hanggang sampung araw na, no, na ganito pa rin ang patient, the patient is already diagnosed to have hypertension stage 1. Be careful with that. Kaya, pag ito po ang, ang blood pressure ng pasyente, kailangan lang po mag-exercise muna ng pasyente. Bawasan ang nagkukos ng hypertension. Bawasan ang asin, bawasan ang matataba sa pagkain, bawasan po ang karne sa pagkain ng pasyente. Focus on the fruits and vegetables para ibaba po natin ang 139 over 89 because at the age of 30 above, you will be considered already a stage 1 hypertensive patient. Lalo po tayo dito. Maintain at least 120 over 80 as the normal blood pressure of the patient. Pag umabot ka ng 140 over 90 pat as stage 2 hypertension na yan, consistently, That you need to go to the hospital for laboratory examination. Kasi ang makikita at makikita dyan ay mataas ang cholesterol sa laboratory ng pasyente. You need to stop eating meat and meat products. You need to stop eating inerito. Klaro tayo dyan. Kasi pag stage 2 hypertension ka na, bibigyan ka na ng doktor ng gamot na maintenance dose. Habang hindi pa kayo umaabot ng 140 over 90, stop those food that is contributing to the increased blood pressure. Clear tayo dito? At pag umabot ng 180 over 120 anytime in your life na meron kang blood pressure na 180 over 120, pwedeng pumutok ang ugat sa ulo mo. You need to go to the hospital immediately dahil dito na uuwi yung mga pasyente na ayaw mag-modify ng lifestyle at nagkakaroon na ng hypertensive crisis because the blood pressure is very high and that patient is anytime candidate for stroke. Magpunta mo ng hospital, sasabihin ng doktor direkta, I see you ka. Good thing pag hindi naputokan ng ugat sa ulo. Pag naputokan ng ugat sa ulo, kahit ikaw pa ang pinakamayaman na tao sa buong mundo, there is no way that you will survive from this. Specifically if you are in the Philippines. Because the next step, pag naputokan ng, ka ng ugat sa, sa, sa brain, sa ulo, is to open the skull. That is what we call craniotomy. You need to open the skull, bubuksan ng skull at hahanapin kung saan yung pumutok na ugat sa ulo. But if more than 50%, <coughs> Of the part of the brain is affected na namatay na, hindi na ina-advise. It's because it's useless. The patient will eventually die. Habang hindi pa tayo pumapasok sa hypertensive crisis, at lalong-lalo na hindi tayo pumapasok pa sa stage 2 hypertension, please do some modification in your lifestyle and start taking for cheer placenta to improve your condition or your health condition. Ayan o. Oh. Ito ang coronary artery disease. Na-discuss ko na kanina yung coronary artery disease. Diseases dun sa artery sa ugat sa puso ng pasyente. Heart disease caused by impaired coronary blood flow. Bakit po ba impaired ang coronary blood flow? Ibig sabihin, ang circulation is affected. Ibig sabihin, merong pamumuo ng pamumuo ng fat and fat deposits dito. Yun yung tatanggalin natin. Number one, you need to have at least 20 to 30 minutes exercise. Ito yung mga masakit, mga sakit po. Ito ang normal na ugat natin sa katawan, ha? normal na artery kung saan dumadaloy ang oxygenated blood. Ito po, ang severe atherosclerosis, malakas na po ang baram, sobrang laki na po ng 
may baras sa part sa sirkulasyon ng pasyente. Anytime pwede magkaroon ng heart attack ang pasyente pag ganito na po iyon. Modifiable, ibig sabihin, pwede po nating i-control. Elevated blood lipids, hypertension, tobacco smoking, diabetes mellitus, obesity, physical inactivity, and stress. Non-modifiable, ito po yung hindi natin pwedeng i-control. Heredity, uh, genetics. There are genetics na, na mga diseases just like diabetes mellitus that is genetics, that is hereditary. Hindi po natin pwedeng tanggalin sa sistema, pwede, pero pwede po natin i-delay ang paglabas o pwede natin i-control. Male gender and increasing age. We are talking about the cardiovascular disease for less. So anong pwedeng gawin? Promote physical activity, encourage proper nutrition. Gaya ng sinabi ko, pag hindi po nakakapagluto ng maayos sa bahay, for sure po, dapat nandyan yan palagi sa bag nyo. Anytime of the day, you can take your for sure, even if you are in the office. Maintain ideal body weight and prevent obesity, advise smoking cessation, and early diagnosis from diagnosis and control of diabetes mellitus and hypertension. Ito yung CVA na diniskas ko kanina, hindi ko na uulitin. Diniskas ko na ito yung pamumuo ng fat and fat deposits dito sa ugat po sa katawan po natin. Pagpapunta yan sa utak, ang problema ng pasyente stroke. Pagpapunta yan sa heart, heart attack or medically, tinatawag namin na myocardial infarction. Kung makikita nyo dito sa picture, yung darker part na yan, ito po ang part ng brain natin na wala na pong oxygen. Ibig sabihin, eto na po ang namatay na part ng, ng, ng brain natin because of the absence of oxygen. Tatandaan, pag yan sabi ko, lumaki ng lumaki, yung namamatay na parte ng ugat ng, ng, ng part ng brain natin as caused by inability of the blood to carry oxygen to be distributed in the part of the brain, definitely your brain will die. Habang hindi pa po nangyayari ito, umpisahan na po natin ang wellness products. Definitely, we need to start taking your Porchir Placenta. Kasi Porchir Placenta will be helping your brain to maintain its health. Ito, thrombotic, ibig sabihin, para lang sa gilid, yung, fat, yung fats. Ayan. Hemorrhagic is the most dangerous type of stroke. Ibig sabihin ng hemorrhagic, napupukan ng ugat sa ulo ang pasyente. Huwag na tayong umabot dito. Pag po natin na-experience na nahihilo tayo, sobrang taas po ng blood pressure ng pasyente, tanungin nyo. Tuturuan ko kayo kung paano po malaman if the patient is experiencing stroke already. Kausapin nyo. Pag tinausap nyo, ang pasyente sa bahay o hindi nyo man ka mag-anak, pag kinausap nyo, hindi nakainom ang tao but if ang, at ang, ang, kanyang, ang kanyang actions it's just like the behavior of a person na nakainom, katandaan nyo, stroke yan. Okay? Walang bisyo. Pero nung kinausap mo, tinanong mo, kumain ka na po. Kaya, Okay, there is lowering of speech. Nandito ka sa kaliwa, pag tinatanong mo siya, doon siya sa kanan nakatingin. There is blurring of vision. Hindi ka nakakausap. Nakangiwi ang pasyente. Ibig sabihin, there is drop in one part of the face of the patient na hindi niya maigalaw. Ang isang kamay niya, pag inaangat mo, bumabagsak po sa at may paralysis ang part, isang part ng katawan. Mind you, bring the patient to the hospital immediately because that is stroke. Okay? Clear tayo dyan. That is stroke. Bago mangyari ang stroke, malalaman nyo yan consistently ilang araw tinitake ang blood pressure ng pasyente. Mataas. Huwag nang antayin. Madala ang pasyente sa ICU bago magtanong kung pwede pa ang poor cheer. Months. Merong maintenance ang pasyente. Be careful with that. Try to ask the patient of the history of the disease. Pag taon ang tinitake ang anti-hypertensive drugs at wala pa rin nangyayari, ibig sabihin hindi umi-epekto ang gamot sa pasyente. Try the other solution to the problem. Bigyan ng porchir placenta stem cells. Bakit? Your porchir will help 
the improvement of the function of the brain as well as the blood vessels of the brain of the patient para hindi po maranasan ang stroke o ang atake ng stroke. Cancer. Types of cancer. Different types of cancer. Hindi ko iisa-isahin to. Kasi isang cancer, apat na oras. Heredity family history, isa yan. Kaya pag may namatay po, na may cancer patients sa bahay, namatay because of cancer, please be very careful. Why? Pareho lang kayo ng pinakain. Second is, pareho ang DNA na dumadaloy sa katawan nyo. Okay? Ito po, meron tayong mga, mga kaibigan na mas gusto. Pabili po ng uling yung may konting karne. Ayan po. Gustong gusto. Are you aware that these are already carbons? Ayan, carbons yan. Carbons, pag pumunta yan sa katawan nyo, nagiging free radical yan and it is ready to formulate cancer cells. Be careful with that. Excessive carbons result. Pero ang carbon na to kasi, ito ang binibigay natin sa mga pasyente na nagdadayariya. Pero, in excess of that, not every day. You should not be taking that every day because carbon is resulting to cancer cells production. Carcinogens, cancer producing chemicals. Chemicals and environmental agents. Ito, lang cancer ang patutunguhan nito. You have two options to live in a healthy environment or doon ka sa kabila. Benzopyrene. Nitrosamines, andyan. May mga content ng nitrosamines yan, cancerous yan. And radiation. Be careful with this. Yung mga natutulog dyan, nakatabi yung mga cell phones ninyo, be careful with that. Pagising nyo sa umaga, ang sakit ng ulo nyo, ang hindi nyo alam na ang radiation, 24 hours, ginugulo ang cells ng utak mo, kaya pagising mo, ang sakit ng ulo mo. You need to put aside to put away your cell phones at least 1 to 3 meters away from you para hindi ka maabot ng radiation. Tingnan nyo, wala kang cell phones sa katab nakatabi. Wala kang cell phone nakatabi. Wala kang tinitake na wellness products. Ang bilis sumakit ng ulo mo. So, ilayo po. Pag matutulog ka, ilayo po ang laptop. Ilayo ang cell phone sa 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 kwarto and start taking your pochi placenta so that it can help your brain to be mature enough and healthy viruses eto ngayon i will be telling you ang dami ang dami ng cases ng ng covid as of this time, the reason why ang daming naka-lockdown ngayon. Kasi unang-una, ayaw pumermi ng mga tao. Second is, walang protection sa katawan. There are lots of people who are exposed to COVID-19 but never get sick. It's because they are taking the wellness products. How much more if you are taking your Porchia Placenta? Try to put this in mind. If you will be spending 20880 for one bottle in a month to be protected, definitely you will be protected. Then not taking anything at all, it's because you don't want to spend money for your health. And after one month, abu ka na. You have two options, to be productive or to be abu. That your, your family will not be helped. It's because you are the breadwinner of your family. Okay, so be careful with this. It's either you boost your immune system, you boost your resistance, you increase your resistance against the viruses, you boost your immune system because your immune system will kill the viruses in our body. Plus, the existence of the 11 active ingredients in your portrait will help you protect yourself from the invasion of viruses. In case you will be invaded with COVID-19 viruses, your body is ready to kill the microorganisms. So I hope this will give you more understanding on how to protect yourself. Na discussin natin yan. So eto diabetes mellitus na discuss ko rin kanina. 
ano lang ang dalawang klase ng diabetes mellitus, insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus and non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. Ibig sabihin, pag type 1 ka, insulin-dependent, ibig sabihin ang pancreas mo ay hindi na totally gumagana kasi sira na ang pancreas mo. Sa non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, ibig sabihin, part of your pancreas is still healthy that is trying to produce insulin. Kaya in the long run kasi, ang non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, mauuwi sa diabetes mellitus, which is insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. Kaya habang maaga pa, ang dalawang klaseng diabetes mellitus ay pwedeng bigyan ng purchir placenta stem cell is because ang sirang pancreas ay tutulungan ng purchir na ma-regain ang health ng organ natin. Kaya, Wag mo nating antayin na ang diabetes mellitus ay magkaroon ng complications like hypertension leading to stroke and death of the patient. Habang maaga pa, please, umpisahan ng i-introduce ito sa mga patients ninyo. Wag na to, medyo masakit sa brain to pag i-discuss ko pa to. Normal blood sugar level is 70 to 110. Ibig sabihin, pag bumagsak sa 70, Ibig sabihin, hypoglycemia, bagsak ang asupan sa katawan ng pasyente. Pag lumampas ng 110, ibig sabihin, that is hyperglycemia. Ang hypoglycemia at hyperglycemia, makikita mo, halos pare-pareho ang sinyales, ang simptomas na naramdam na, ng pasyente. Ibig sabihin, ang pasyente nahihilo, namumutla, nagpapawisan, dalawa lang ang pwedeng ibig sabihin yan. Sobrang taas ng asupan sa katawan o sobrang bagsak ng asupan sa katawan. Paano si Kusay malalaman? Kasi automatically, pag nahihilo, pinagpapawisan ng lalamig ang pasyente, nagsasabing nang, nang hihina, minsan hindi clear ang vision. Hindi klaro ang pagsasalita ng pasyente of the patient. Tanungin niya ang pasyente, may diabetes ka ba? Pag sinabi niyang yes. Ang next na tanong para malaman kung hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia, ibig sabihin, para malaman kung bagsak ang asukal or sobrang taas ang asukal sa katawan ng pasyente, ang tanong ninyo is kailan ka huling kumain. Example that the time now is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ibig sabihin, pag hindi pa nag-almosal ang pasyente, hindi naghapunan kagabi, bagsak ang asukal sa katawan ng pasyente, that is below 70. Kahit hindi nyo kunan ng blood sugar ang katawan ng pasyente at ilalagay nyo sa glucometer, By just asking the patient of the history of the last meal, malalaman nyo kung hypo or hyper. Pag sinabi niyang, sir, kagabi hindi ako naghapunan, hindi ako nag-almusal kanina, anong oras ta alas stress, ibig sabihin wala nang asukal ang katawan ng pasyente. That is hypoglycemia. Management, painumin ng juice ang pasyente. Management, painumin ng matamis ang pasyente. Or painumin ng, uh, ng, ng, ng soda ang pasyente. That is the fastest the faster way of replacing the sugar and the patient's body and then pakainin mo ang pasyente pakainin mo ang tao sir kanina kani kanina lang kumain ako nakailang bandihado ka ng asu ng ng pag ng kanin sir nakatatlong nakaapat na rice ako ibig sabihin sobrang taas ng sugar sa katawan ng pasyente kasi kakakain lang which means na ang problema sa pasyente is hyperglycemia bakit hindi bumababa ang blood sugar? Kasi walang naiproproduce na insulin ang katawan ng pasyente. Walang naiproproduce na insulin ang pancreas ng pasyente. That is the time that the patient needs insulin para yung asukal sa katawan sa labas ng cells maipasok ni insulin dun sa cells ng pasyente para maging energy. The reason why na nagkakaroon ng weakness ang pasyente is because there is no sugar which is transformed into energy inside the cell of the body in a form of ATP. Ibig sabihin, hindi walang enerhiya. ATP is adenosine triphosphate meaning it is the energy coming from the sugar. Okay? So, yun ang dalawang palatandaan kung hyper o hypo ang pasyente. Ask the patient. If the patient is diabetes, you need to ask the patient, insulin, diabetes, uh, insulin dependent ka or non-insulin dependent? Pag non-insulin, nag-oral intake ang pasyente. Pag insulin dependent, nagtuturok ng insulin ang pasyente. Either of the two conditions, you can advise the client to take for cheer. Ito ang nararamdaman ng pasyente na may diabetes. Polydipsia, excessive na nag, nag, 
nauuuhaw ang pasyente, polyuria, ihi ng ihi, kasi inom ng inom ng tubig, at polyphagia, ibig sabihin, gutom na gutom ang pasyente, palagi is because wala pong asukal na pumupunta sa cells ng pasyente. Kaya naguguto, may cell starvation ng pasyente, kaya gustong kumain ng kumain ng pasyente. Okay, yan ang pwedeng dalhin ng pasyente. Pag ang pasyente, tatandaan nyo, pag meron po kayong pasyente sa bahay na may diabetes mellitus, huwag magpapakawala ng juice. Huwag magpapakawala ng uh, pineapple juice sa bahay. Yung sweetened po. Okay? Kasi anytime na mag-hypoglycemia, pakainin lang. Pag okay pa ang condition ng pasyente, pero bagsak ang asukal, pakainin nyo because the patient has a chance to eat the food and increase the sugar level in the body of the patient. COPD, diseases of the lungs. Smoking is the number one cause of the lung cancer. Chronic bronchitis, emphysema or emphysema and bronchial asthma. Ito po ang tatlong diseases and I want to be discussing this uh, today. It's because lung diseases, dinidiscuss ko ng apat na oras yan. We will be discussing this in other sessions as well. Do we need health supplement? Definitely. Ano po ba ang tanong ngayon? Sir, paano namin ma-prevent? Itong mga sakit na diniscuss ko, simple lang, pag-aalaga ng katawan at pag-take ng produkto para makatulong, considering na sinabi ko kanina na hindi nyo na kaya magluto sa bahay at wala na po kayong maayos na nakakain, kaya kulang ang nutrients sa katawan ng pasyente, kaya nagkakasakit ng pasyente is because of missing nutrients results to another disease. So, why do we need health supplement? Supplements is definitely for prevention. Repair, detoxification, regeneration, protection, lowering the three highs, and recovery. Ito po, sa ibang wellness products po, meron pong promotion and prevention. Pero tatandaan nyo, ano ang meron ang porcir placenta na wala ang ibang produkto? Stem cell. Definitely, stem cell is responsible for the regeneration of our cells in our body. Ito po ang wala po ang ibang produkto. Kaya yung pressure po is justifying the effect of the product because of what it can do to our body. Mataas ang pressure, it's because of the increased chance of recovering from the diseases because of regeneration of our cells in our body. Plus, may repair po siya. Ang nagagawa po ng ibang produkto, pag wala pong sakit ang pasyente, is only prevention and protection. That is promotion of health and prevention of diseases before the patient uh, is diagnosed to have the disease. So, kung wala pa pong disease ang pasyente, pwede yung ibang produkto from other company. Tatandaan mo, pero pag ang pasyente meron ng sakit, priority ang pag take ng stem cell ng pasyente. For what very good reason, sir, may sakit na po kayo. Ibig sabihin, there is problem in the cellular level of your organ. That is the reason why we need to help the body from regenerating the loss of healthy cells. At yung repair po ng organ na na-damage because of the absence of healthy cells, yun po ang tutulungan na ayusin ni stem cell. Pag wala po, pag may history po ang pasyente ng diseases, Ibig sabihin, parents, lolo, lola, nagkasakit, namatay because of the diseases, then it is the time as early as the young age of the patient to take our porcir placenta. Bakit po ba as early as the young age dapat na pre-prevent ang existence ng diseases na naipamana sa atin ng mga magulang at mga kanununuan natin? Okay? It doesn't necessarily miss that ang produkto natin ay selective sa mga nagkangailangan ng stem cell. As early as the young age, we can start. And please stop letting your kids eat sausages, eat uh, eggs, yung mga kinakain. Huwag niyong sanayin ang, ang mga bata na kumain sa fast food. Sanayin niyong kumakain ng gulay. And as early as possible, you need to start, start uh, introducing or letting your, your kids take the Puchier Placenta, kahit isa lang sa isang araw. Lagi naman itong dinidiscuss sa OPP. Didirect na ako dito sa content ng, ng produkto natin. Katandaan, ito po ang content ng Sir, bakit po ba napaka-effective ng Puchier? Ang dami nagsasabi sa akin. Sir, ang kalaban lang po talaga namin, ang presyo pero 
the effect of the product is totally superior to the effect of the products of other networking companies. Bakit nga ba po sobrang ganda ng presyo ng produkto natin? Ito po, pinili po ang lahat ng content na powerful, powerful fruits na nasa, nasa paligid po natin na unang-una ay nagkukos ng problem sa mga cancer cells natin by killing the cancer cells. Titingnan nyo, may placenta stem cell po tayo, may nucleoclavem tayo, with the fucoid and apple polyphenol, then drojo, marine collagen, lycopene aloe vera, borage oil, avocado oil, squalene, and evening primrose. Para maintindihan po natin, tatandaan na ito po ay Meron po tayong mga kliyente na nagtatanong palagi, Sir, um, nahihilo po ako nung time na uminom ako ng uh, Porchia Plus Sanda. Tatandaan niyo po, those are what we call that the detoxification. That is, the, pa the patient is undergoing the process of uh, repair and healing process. Protect, repair, and renew your, your body. Ito po, tatandaan niyo, isa ang nilagay ko is because it is helping our body. Sa isang kapsula, bawat araw, soft gel bawat araw, you will be protected. Eh what if you will be taking that one capsule three times a day? Analo ka. So, your deep placenta is 100 uh, in every one capsule, 100 milligrams in every capsule. It contains... IGF-1 and hyaluronic acid which promotes tissue growth, improves health of organs, nurturing skin, joint functions, and improves eyesight. Sir, ang dami na po, dalawang pasyente ko ang nagreklamo na o operahan na sila ng doctor sa eyes, sa ENT, it's because nawawala na unti-unti ang paningin. Sabi ko saglit, try mo muna isang bote. And after one week of taking for Chir Placenta, when he went back to his doctor for follow-up checkup and for rescheduling of operation sa eyes niya, sabi ng doctor, you don't need operation. It's because your eyesight is improving. Nawawala yung nagkukos ng blindness. Kaya sabi ko, I try to put this in mind, ha, yung pasyente, Try to put this in mind na yung pasyente, actually pasyente ni, ni Coach Yoli, pasyente niya, magsasaka. They tried to purchase one bottle and after one bottle when the doctor told him that this no longer uh, going to undergo operation, bumili pa ng another bottle. It's because yun yung nag-prevent. Para yun yung nag I mean, yun yung nag-improve ng eyesight for him not to be operated. Bakit po ba nag-i-improve ang eyesight? May sagot na tayo. Because of the placenta stem cell, it is improving the eyesight. Bakit nakakalakad? Nawawala ang sakit sa mga buto-buto ng -buto, no, mga matatanda na nagtitake ng Puchir Placenta is because it is helping for the lubrication of the joints, increasing increasing the spinal fluid of the patient. Kaya nung nag-uumpugan ng mga, na mga, na mga bones sa spinal cord, na pre-prevent, it's because merong increased production of the spinal fluid helping the client para dun sa lubrication. Nang, hindi nag-uumpugan ang bones ng pasyente. Kaya na pre-prevent yung, yung joint pain because of that. Try to put this in mind that it is stimulating the renewal of the process of aging. Nakita nyo yung time na nag-take ako for two months, three months, dire-diretso, sobrang laki ng in-improve ng, ng itsura ko. Bumata ako, nawala yung, yung linings dito. Pagkatapos, binanat nyo totally at nakita mo yung total, total makeover ng, ng, ng mukha mo. And definitely, you need, gaya ng sinabi ko, to stop taking alcoholic beverages. Anyway, hindi naman ako alcoholic, uh, alcoholics, hindi naman ako drinker ng, 
ng beer, hindi naman ako nag nagdi-drink. I'm not a soda drinker as well and I don't smoke. So, ang kinakain ko yung mga dahon-dahon, kamote, saging, yun. There is quite modification of your of your diet para ma-improve din kasi kunin na natin yung 100% efficacy ng produkto dahil wala kumukontra sa katawan natin. So it retains the strength and vitality of the organ and reverses the aging process. Helps cure patients with diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, bone disease, menopause, impotence, chronic fatigue, and so forth. Bakit, sir? Gaya nga ng sinabi ko, bakit ito? Naa-address sa mga problema na ito? Gaya ng sinabi ko, because of the action, because of the penetration of the stem cell into the cellular level that the stem cell tries to increase the production, duplication of the normal cells that is remain na natira po sa ating organ. Natural benefits. Ang placenta stem cell, ito. Natural skin revitalizer, smooth, soft, and skin. Improve skin texture. Keep your skin supple and dehydrated. Reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Improve the blood circulation. Increase general energy. Allow a quicker return to health after birth, increase production of breast milk. Katandaan ha, pag nagpapaanak po kami sa hospital, I am a nurse and I am a midwife as well. Pag nagpapaanak po kami sa hospital, eto po yung pusod ng pasyente, eto yung placenta ng pasyente, yung inunan. Ang ginagawa po namin from inunan, minimilk po po namin siya, papunta po sa, pa, sa bata, sa pusod, bago namin ikat yung cord ng patient. Why? Because yung, yung cord na natira, yung dugo na nandiyan, yan yung punong-puno ng stem cell na kailangan sa baby, na kailangan ng baby. At yung placenta na yon hindi po kaagad namin itinatapon, lalo na pag ang hospital ay may burn department. Ibig sabihin, pag may burn patient po kami, example, malaking part ng, ng skin ng pasyente, yung nasunog at nasa... nasa Yung, yung skin ng pasyente is totally na, 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 naluto, yung remaining po, yung placenta na galing sa inunan, yung inunan na, na galing sa mother na hindi namin tinatapon, yun po ang nilalagay po namin doon sa burns area. So, after after few days, makikita mo, after few few days and after few weeks of recovery, makikita mo parang walang nangyari doon sa skin ng patient. Why? Because that placenta is filled with stem cell for regeneration of the skin of the patient. Ginagawa po namin yun sa hospital. And that is very helpful. Nucleclavem. Sa Dubai, nagtanong ako, ang isang, ang isang strawberry na puti, sobrang taas ng presyo. I asked them why. Because this is from Japan. And dito ko lang nalaman that white strawberry contains nucleclavem which is essential doon sa activation ng beta cells para hindi po magkaroon ng cancer ang patients. And this berry, tatandaan lahat ng berries, meron pong anti-inflammatory effect. Ibig sabihin, yung pamamaga na kukontrol niya. Ibig sabihin, yung pamamaga inside, lalo na meron tayong mga bukol-bukol, meron tayong tumors, unti-unti tinatanggal niya because of its anti-inflammatory effect. And try to put this in mind that this white strawberry, the nucleclavem in white strawberry cannot be used by other company. It's because yan yung naka-trademark dun sa freeway. Pag nakita nyo yung TM na to, ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng gamitin ng ibang kumpanya yung Nucleclavem because naka-exclusive yan sa Reway International. And that Nucleclavem is very power powerful in the prevention of your cancer. So, first product is your stem cell, which is 100 is to one and then for each capsule you want you have 100 milligrams of 
nucleic labem, which is anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory. Ito po ang reason kung bakit ang taas ng presyo ng produkto natin. It's because yung presyo ng produkto natin, kung titingnan nyo, presyo pa lang yung ng stem cell alone. etong labing isang ingredients, ibig sabihin, libre na to. Activation in the body which relates to the body's immune response there by controlling chronic inflammation which is often the root cause of chronic illnesses. So, sir, bakit po ba kailangan namin mag-stem cell? Ma'am, meron na po kayong chronic illness. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng chronic illness? Ito po ang sakit na matagal na nanasa katawan mo. When we classify chronic disease from acute disease, pag sumobra na sa anim na buwan, pataas ang sakit na hindi na treat, pabalik-balik, that is already considered as chronic disease. Ano po ba ang example ng chronic disease? Diabetes mellitus, more than two years na na nag-oral medication ng patient. More than six months, yes. Chronic or acute? Chronic disease. Hypertension, ilang buwan ka na nag-maintenance? Limang taon na po. Ilang taon na po ang hypertension nyo, limang taon na rin po. Ibig sabihin, chronic or acute, chronic disease. Pero kagabi, natulog ako, pagising ko ng umaga, sumasakit ang sa kanang, uh, kanang part ng lower quadrant ko, ibig sabihin, eto po, i-divide nyo ang katawan nyo, ang, ang, ang chan nyo into four. Okay? So, ang ano nyan, ang palatandaan ng puso nyo, i-divide nyo sa apat. This one is your right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant kung saan ang puso nyo, left lower quadrant, ang right lower quadrant po. From the puso, i-divide into two. Nakikita nyo po ba? Uh, yes po, coach. Yes po. From, from the puso, nakikita nyo, i-divide nyo into i-half nyo dito at dito po. Sa baba po inyan, yun po ang appendix po natin. Okay? Pag yan sumakit, pakiusap, wala pong ibibigay na gamot sa pasyente to control the pain. Do you understand? Because that could be a start of an attack of your appendicitis. Ibig sabihin, namamaga ang appendix nyo. Tatandaan nyo, ang dami pong nagtitake ng culture placenta na hindi inoperahan ang appendix kasi hindi po na maga ang appendix because of the presence of nucleic labem, prevent po ang pamamaga ng organ sa katawan natin. And try to put this in mind. Pag ito ang sumakit, wag na wag bumili at wag na wag bigyan ng pain reliever ang pasyente kasi mawawala ang sakit because of the pain reliever pero after few hours pumutok na ang appendix ng pasyente. Do you understand? Pag yan po sumakit, Pindutin ng konti, bitawan bigla. Pag sumusunod ang sakit, ibig sabihin, that is appendicitis. Bring the patient to the hospital immediately for operation. Because anytime pwedeng pumutok ang appendix. Akyat ka ng konti sa ibabaw, sa ibabaw ng puso, makikita nyo, eto, eto po ang stomach natin. Eight, uh, uh, eto po ang stomach natin. Sumasakit, kausapin po ang pasyente. Lagi po ba kayo na Nagugutuman, palainom po ba kayo ng beer? Pag positive ang dalawa or positive yung lagi nagugutuman, that is hyper acidity. Okay, just advise the client to eat at least every two hours. Small but frequent feeding and start taking your porcher placenta stem cell. Okay, pag sakit na po, etong sumasakit, yung sa, sa baba po ng, ng, ng dibdib, yung may, nag, may heartbeat, Okay, pag yan yung sumasakit at feeling ng pasyente, dinagadagan na yung kaliwang parte ng, ng balikat, tatandaan nyo that is a start of heart attack. Okay, that is a start of heart attack. Bring the patient to the hospital immediately. Taas tsaka baba, bring the patient to the hospital immediately. Yung sa gitna, you can give the patient food. At least small but frequent feeding because that can be managed at home. To prevent the existence of the attack of this and this one, give the patient for cheer placenta as early as possible. Why? Because this will help prevent the inflammation of your body. 
Lalo po tayo dito, pero pag eto sumakit, kaninang umaga lang sobrang sakit, hindi kaya ng pasyente. Kailan po ba sumakit? Kaninang umaga? Kailangan dalhin sa hospital? Yes. Because the patient will be diagnosed to have what? Appendicitis. Kailan nangyari? Kaninang umaga? Below or more than six months? Below six months. Oras nga lang eh. That is considered acute disease. Do you understand? Less than six months, acute. Abrupt. That is acute disease. At ano, Clark Laban, an exclusive property, para maiwasan po yung mga sakit na sinabi ko, you need to have and you need to start taking your portier placenta. An exclusive property that's an apoptotic component, that's a square terpene glycosides which initiates the apoptosis mechanism. Apoptosis, ibig sabihin ng apoptosis is cell death. Kusang nagpapangamatay ang cell. Kasi if you're not aware, every 6 to 12 months, you are the new you. Ibig sabihin, ikaw yung bagong ikaw. Which simply means, every 6 to 12 months, nagmamature ang cell po natin. Try to put this in mind. 6 to 12 months, nagmamature ang cell natin. Approximately, one year is, is yun yung maturity age ng cell natin na kailangan niyang magpangamatay para mapalitan siya ng bagong cells. Unfortunately, because other people are so stressed, kumakain ng bawal, manginginom, naninigarilyo, six months below pa lang, namamatay na ang cells. Hindi pa nga dumadating yung papalit, namamatay na siya. Kaya anong yayari, makikita niyo ang bilis ng pagtanda ng tao is because patay na yung cells na nandun sa katawan niya. Unfortunately, on the other side of the story, the process of nucleoclavem in your body, siya yung nagkukos na magpakamatay ang cancer cells. Which is tinutulungan niya na hindi magkaroon ng inflammation ang katawan at tinutulungan niya mag-ayos yung remaining healthy cells natin with the help of the stem cells definitely pinapatay niya ang cancer cells with the presence of nucleoclavem and later, madidiscover niyo that the presence of nucleoclavem plus stem cell plus focoidan contributes to the apoptosis or magpapakamatay ang cancer cells sa katawan natin kaya hindi sila dumadami. So, contains rich antioxidants which can scavenge free radicals inhibiting the atherosclerosis and glycemic effects of the body. Sir, the presence of nucleoclavem coming from the white strawberry, hinihinto rin yung pagdami ng atherosclerosis o yung namumuong taba sa sirkulasyon. Kasi may anti-inflammatory effect. And at the same time, tatandaan nyo, ang mga berries may anti- anti-inflammatory uh, at siya, siya po yung nagtutunaw ng mga barabara sa katawan natin. Okay? May anti-coagulant, isulat, anti-inflammatory, hindi pamamaga or tumutulong para hindi magmamaga ang organs, ang system natin. May anti-coagulant, anti-coagulant is tinutunaw yung pamamara, yung mga bara sa, sa ugat natin. Yung bara na namuo, like red blood cell, pwedeng mabuo, yung yung red blood cell, yung fat deposits pwedeng, pwedeng mamuo doon sa circulation natin. So, yun ang tinutunaw ng nucleoclavem, yun ang tinutunaw ng focoidan, yun ang tinutunaw ng ibang component, ng ibang ingredients ng Porchier Placenta natin. Kaya magtatanong sila, sir, bakit nawawala ang hypertension? Because the cause of hypertension is being removed in the body. Sir, bakit nagkakaroon ng, ng treatment pagdating sa cancer patients? Because of the presence of nucleoclavem, pinapatay niya yung existing cancer cells na nagkukos ng cancer sa patient. Kaya nai-stop ang pagdami ng cancer cells, gumagaling ang patient. Although this is not a medicine, definitely, but the content of the product is killing the cancer cells. Kaya gumagaling ang patient. So this is extracted especially from the white strawberries of Awaji Island in Japan for its precious nutrients that has great benefits, health benefits for the human body. Benefits of, pwede yung picture an, na nucleoclavem, anti-inflammatory, anti-oxidation, anti-tumor nourishing effect, and blood vessels and lymphatic system, reduce 
heatiness and detox detoxification, promote blood circulation, balance autonomic nervous system, regulates hormones and relieve and increase stress resistance. Ito po ay isa lang sa mga benefits ng nucleclavem. Kaya nucleclavem pa lang pananon na kayo. Last time cell kanina na diniscuss natin. Okay, it can strengthen the body's immune system, reduce lipid peroxidation, replace the need for Western medication like anti-inflammatory disease. Hindi na kailangan mag-anti-inflammatory ang pasyente. Why? It's because ang nucleclavem may anti-inflammatory effect na. It protects the liver. Sir, baka po kasi sa dami na iniinom po namin, namin gamot at iniinom namin produkto, baka masira na po ang liver ng pasyente. Kaya nga po meron tayong for cheap placenta because of the presence of nucleoclavem, rinoprotectahan po ang liver at saka ang kidney at ang pancreas ng pasyente. Kaya gumagaling yung mga pasyente na may diabetes. Kaya gumagaling yung mga pasyente. Nababawasan yung number of dialysis in every week ng pasyente because it improves the health of our organs, kidney, liver, pancreas. It causes anti-inflammatory. Pag may anti-inflammatory effect, definitely, wala pong tumor production sa katawan po natin. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na focoidan, ang tatlo po. Again, unang-una, na content ng Porchir Placenta is 100 mg per capsule of your Porchir Placenta stem cells. Second is 100 mg of Nucleclavem coming from the strawberry coming from Awaji Island in Japan, which is number one, causing the apoptosis of the cancer cells. Okay, tayo doon. Sa dalawa pa lang ha, pinag-uustapan natin. May pang tatlo pa, meron pa tayong fucoidan. Ang presses ng fucoidan sa katawan ng pasyente ay nagkukos ng ano, ng pagpapakamatay again ng cancer cells sa katawan ng pasyente. It contains a great source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties that boost our body's immune system. There is no point now that you will think na hindi siya makakapag-ayos ng mukha ninyo. It's because of the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects sa lahat ng parte ng katawan natin. Kaya yung namamagamaga mong mukha, binabanat niya. Tinatanggal niya yung pamamaga. Kaya makikita nyo sobrang galing ng pagkakaayos nyo ng mukha mo after the six months of treatment of uh, therapy of stem cell therapy. So because of the fucoidan, it contains a great source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties that boost your body's immune system. Again, sir, bakit po ang dami po ng gumagaling na patient sa COVID by just taking the Poitier Placenta because it boosts the body's immune system. It maintains and improves gut. And digestive system, gut, ibig sabihin, uh, digestive system, ibig sabihin yung uh, bito ka sa katawan po natin, yung stomach. And induce apoptosis, ibig sabihin, induce apoptosis dun sa, sa cancer cells. Nagpapakamatay ang cancer cells with the presence of focoidin in our body. Preventing its ability to grow. Ito po siya. So 50 milligrams of focoidin extra doon sa isang capsule, capsule soft gel ng Poitier. Again, para hindi nakakalimutan, ano yung una? Stem cell sa placenta galing ng deer. That is 100 mg per capsule. Second is nucleoclavem coming from your white strawberry. And then, how many mg of Fucoidan? 50 mg of Fucoidan. It is rich in saccharides such as L- Uh, fructose, fucoidan sulfate, galactose, mannose, silose, and uronic acid. Its unique molecular structure has anti-cancer effect. Kaya ano po ba ang specialization ng fucoidan? Remove the cancer cells in our body. Ano ang specialization ng nucleoclavem? Anti-inflammatory, anti-coagulant. Less pamamaga, less pamumuo sa blood circulation ng taba at ng red blood cell. Anong specialization ng fucoidan? Pinapatay ang cancer cells. Okay? How many milligrams of fucoidan? In one capsule, 50 milligrams. How many milligrams of nucleoclavim in one capsule? 100 milligrams. How many milligrams of your stem cell? 100 milligrams. And now the fourth is apple polyphenol. Okay? Ano na naman specialization ng apple polyphenol? Eto, may stem cell din eto, yung green apple. So, it is powerful 
in preventing and reversing the effects of oxidation. Ito nakakatulong sa oxidation, sa inflammation and glycation. Each capsule contains... Are you aware that one capsule is equivalent to 100 apples? 100 apples. Okay? 20 milligrams is equivalent to 100 apples in one capsule. Kaya anti-hospital, anti-doctor. Effect in reducing free radicals, oxidation, antibacteria, whitening, deodorizing, anti-ulcer, increasing muscle strength. Kaya for those clients na merong hyperacidity, merong hyperacidity resulting to ulcers in the future, eto po, malaking tulong ng apple polyphenol to treat your ulcer. It can inhibit the carcinogenic substance in the stomach, prevent gastrointestinal cancer growth. For those clients who are diagnosed to have colon cancer, bakit gumagaling po sila? It's because of the presence of apple polyphenol. Okay? Bakit gumagaling ang may colon cancer? Because of the presence of our fucoidan. Bakit gumagaling po ang, ang may colon cancer? Because of the presence of your nucleclavem. Okay, bakit gumagaling po yung may colon cancer? It's because it is improving the health of our colon. Improving the health of the remaining cells in our colon. So, yes, yes, loud and clear. Perfect. Pag may mga violent reaction and questions, please call my attention so that I can address the question. Promotes anti-aging for the dendrobium. dendrobium. Promotes anti-aging combats fatigue, lubricate joints, nourishes, and stomach, and moisten the lungs. Sir, bakit po ba gumagaling ang may mga COVID-19? It's because of the presence of virus in our respiratory tract, in our lungs. Pinapahina niya ang health ng lungs natin. Since mahina ang health ng lungs natin, there is problem with the circulation of oxygen in our body. And with the presence of dendrobium, nilulubricate niya, minumoisan niya ang lungs natin para hindi matuyo, para hindi masira yung lungs natin. Kaya isa yun sa reason kung bakit nakakapagpagaling po ito ng COVID patients. And if you are not a COVID patient, please start using your Porchi Plus Santa simply because it will help you from getting rid out of the virus from the virus. Anti-aging, combats fatigue. Kaya pag nag-take kayo ng, plus, ng Porchi Plus Santa in the evening, pag isin sa umaga, fresh na fresh ka, ibig sabihin, eto pa, it's because of the proper uh, it's because tinutunaw niya yung mga baraba sa, sa ugat. There is proper circulation. There is proper circulation and proper delivery of oxygen in the brain of the patient. So it is increasing. Uh, also the, the chance of the client na ma-improve ang sleeping habit niya. Yung mga hindi makatulog, pag binibigyan namin ng, ng poor cheer, sabi sa akin, Sir, ang aga kong nakatulog kasi inaantok ako. It's because tinutunaw yung nakabara sa sirkulasyon, it is giving proper oxygenation sa brain ng patient. Okay? It is improving the sleep. Kaya, ang gising mo sa umaga, sobrang lakas ng pakinamda mo, every day is a new day, every day is fresh for those who are taking for Chia Placenta. It's because of the effect of the dendrobium. 20 milligrams. Again, apple polyphenol has 20 milligrams in every capsule, equivalent to 100 apples, extracts of 100 apples in one capsule. Same with dendrobium. That is 20 milligrams. This is effective in combating fatigue, promoting blood circulation, dilating blood vessels, helping to lubricate joints, nourishing and the stomach and moistening the lungs, providing extensive and comprehensive anti-aging of the human body. Kaya po, because of the lubrication of the joints na pre-prevent mo ang excessive pain na nararamdaman ng mga pasyente, especially those sa may mga rayuma-rayuma na. Marine collagen peptides extracted from marine organisms that contains 18 types of amino acid. The extracts are now in peptide form, providing 10 times better absorption. Ang marine collagen natin is 100 milligrams. Ano naman ang gamit ng marine collagen? Effectively prevents and treats arthritis and osteoporosis. Again, sino ang nagtutulong-tulong para ma-treat ang arthritis, ang rayuma ng pasyente at problem with the bones? Definitely, number one is marine collagen. Second is dendrobium. Nag natatandaan nyo kung bakit may, may 11 active ingredients because one ingredient is boosting the effect of one product. 
of one ingredient. Kaya nagtutulong-tulong po sila na mapastrengthen po ang effect at ang absorption sa katawan po natin. Kaya ang bilis po ng effect. This is highly absorbable by the body, highly absorbed by the body, and definitely the, the more if, uh, the more it is absorbed by the body, the more it is circulating in our organs, the more it is utilized by our organs in the body, by the tissues in our body, the more effective it becomes. So it protects and strengthens the internal organs and organ function. It helps in strengthening the tissue function and body, immune system, and maintains skin youthfulness. Marine collagen. From the term itself, collagen, it improves the health of our tissues para hindi po mag... Ang collagen, ang ginagawa po ng collagen... At tatandaan niyo, imagine niyo lang po yung isang lubid, nakakabili niyo lang na walang kapigtas-pigtas. The longer you use that lubid, the longer na nagiging nagbipigtas-pigtas. Dahil po sa pressure, dahil sa strength. Pero yung bagong lubid po, tatandaan niyo, hanggang mapigtas po siya dahil sa prolonged use, ang napigtas po na lubid ay ang tissues po natin sa katawan, application in our body. Yun yung tissue sa katawan natin na wala po siyang collagen. Yung kabibili lang na lubid, yun yung punong-puno ng collagen. Yun yung tissues. Ipagpalagay po natin sa mukha natin, yun yung tissues na nagko-comprise po ng, ng mukha natin, yung punong-puno ng collagen, yung bagong lubid. Kaya po, wala pong nagsasag na skin sa mukha po natin. The reason why you look younger as time goes on that you keep on using the Poitier Placenta because of the presence of the collagen, which is marine collagen 100%. 100 milligrams po doon sa capsule natin. Tinutulungan niya because this is helping our tissues para hindi po magsag ang skin. Ini-strengthen niya yung tissues natin sa katawan as well as the muscles as well. And then it lubricates the, the bones. O, tingnan nyo, collagen na sa protein that is found in the connective tissues. Kaya po yan, nagkakaroon po ng ano, nagkakaroon ng sagging is because there is no longer uh, collagen is no longer present in our tissues. The main difference between vital proteins, collagen peptides, and vital proteins, marine collagen is sourcing. Source of our fish scales. Next is evening primrose. Rich in vitamins and minerals. Nakikita nyo kanina. Ito. Collagen is a protein. Ngayon naman, ang evening prim primrose natin, ano ang pinoprovide sa katawan natin? Vitamins and minerals. Kagaya nga nang sinabi ko kanina, absence of vitamins and minerals results to diseases. Okay. One, a mineral that is absent in our body results to one disease. And three, 30 minerals absent in our body results to 300 diseases that is ready to kill ourselves. Regulates vitality promotes metabolism and maintains body function. Ito po, provides multiple therapeutic functions in curious cardiovascular diseases. Ito naman, 200 mg of evening primrose, ito po ang tumutulong sa puso po natin. Ito po ang tumutulong sa may mga premenstrual syndrome. Ito yung may mga picos na may mga problema na laging tinatanong yung sa akin, sir, sa picos. Ano po ba? Yung sa polycystic ovarian syndrome na excessive ang production ng ovary natin ng androgens. Ibig sabihin, male hormones ang pinuproduce ng katawan ng babae, ng organs ng babae, ng, ng ovary ng babae. Kaya nagkakaroon sila ng picos. Hirap sila magkaanak because of that. And then, hirap sila magka-menstruation, irregular menstruation because of that. Kasi meron silang excessive production of the androgens, which is the male hormones naman po. So, it should be na ibalik ng katawan natin yung proper health ng ovary ninyo by producing its or its its uh, hormones. Your hormones is estrogen definitely. So the reason why that you need the, the, the Poitier placenta because of the presence of evening primrose, aayusin niya yung mga problema niya sa ovary. So it improves eczema and psoriasis. Kaya yung mga may skin diseases, ma'am, gamit po kayo ng aming Poitier placenta because of the presence of the evening primrose, which is 200 milligrams in every capsule that we have, aayusin po yung inyong psoriasis. Yung skin allergy nyo, yung skin, uh, yung skin uh, allergy nyo, yung eczema nyo, aayusin niya po. Paano po ba maaayos ng Poitier placenta nyo? Dapat may specific, top, may specific kayong ituturo na content ng produkto natin kung bakit naaayos ang problema nila. That is why etong slide na eto dapat nakakabisado nyo. I may hyper, I may, meron po akong ano, rayuma. Ang sakit po palagi. I may mag-pursure po kayo. Bakit po? Because of the presence of dendrogium, meron po kayong lubrication po. 
ini-increase niya ang production po ng spinal fluid po natin. Ng fluid na naglulubricate sa bones natin kaya hindi po nagbabanggaan yung inyong uh, buto para hindi po sumasakit. Ay, may breast cancer po ako. Pwede pa po ba yan sa akin? Definitely yes. Because of the presence of the stem cell, aayusin niya ang, ang production ng healthy cells nyo natin. Dadamihan niya po. And with the presence of nucleic levem and with the presence po ng uh, pocoidan, pinapatay niya po ang existing na cancer cells sa katawan. And because it has the anti-inflammatory effect and because ang, ang nucleic levem po tumutulong po para hindi po mamuo yung mga barabaral doon sa, sa blood vessels po natin, prevent niya po ang stroke. So we are just hitting not one bird in one shot, but hindi lang po cancer nyo ang, pinip, ang inaayos niya, prevent niya po kayo para magkaroon ng uh, stroke. So dapat, pag nagdi-discuss kayo ng produkto sa kliyente, tumbok po para alam nila na may, eto pala ang reason kaya na-treat-treat yung sakit ko. So, bakit nakakakita na lumil, bumabalik yung linaw ng pag ng ng paningin po ng pasyente? Ay, it's because po of the presence of 100 mg po of stem cell po doon sa isang kapsula na nag na nagtutulong po sa sa eyesight nyo para maibalik because it is improving the eyesight of of the patient. So, may tumbok po kaya patient will only believe in what you are saying it if, if there is a proper discussion of how the products can help them. So it provides evening prim primrose, doon sa mga nagme-menopause, yung mainit, palagi ang ulo, yun yung palaging sumasakit ang puson, laging absent kasi three days before, magkakaroon na po ako ng menstruation, sir. Hindi ako nakakapasok palagi because of this minoria. Tatandaan nyo, Those clients who are consistently and religiously taking our Pochir placenta do not experience menopausal syndrome, do not experience premenstrual syndrome, do not experience yun sa pain na nararamdaman nyo bago kayo mag-menstruation. Okay? Bakit nagkakaroon ng mens... Ng, sir, bakit nagkakaroon ng dysmenorrhea? It's because during the time na nag... nag uh, nagme-menstruate ka, di ba may cycle, if you don't have the sexual intercourse, sexual activity, yun supposedly na egg cell na mag-joint, mag, 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 uh, mag, uh, mag, uh, mag, um, mag-joint dun sa sperm cell, supposedly, magiging ano siya, magiging um, fetus siya in the future. But unfortunately, because of the absence of the sexual intercourse or single ka or hindi active ang, ang sexual Uh, sexual life mo. So, walang union of the sperm cell and the egg cell. Yung egg cell in the future, siya yung magiging parang ano, parang uh, grape-like dun sa sa ano mo, sa uterus mo. And uh, in one cycle, ang gagawin niya, bago siya, bago ka magkaroon ng menstruation, ang gagawin ng katawan niyo is to release prostaglandin. Yung prostaglandin na yon, yun yung tumutulong para mabilis siya na napumutok within three days. So because of the presence of prostaglandin, di ba prostaglandin yung nandoon sa sangipin natin, kaya sobrang sakit, kaya binibigyan ng pain reliever ang patient. So ang presence po ng evening primrose natin, nagpre-prevent ng excessive production ng prostaglandin. Kaya hindi makakaramdam ng pain ng patient bago siya mag- menstruation. Kaya try nyo. Yung mga patients nyo, yung mga kilala nyo na hindi nakakapasok because of the premenstrual syndrome, just like uh, dysmenorrhea, tatandaan nyo, hindi yan makakaramdam. Hindi yan makaka-experience ng dysmenorrhea. Try to introduce the product. Why? Because of the presence of your evening primrose. And, and at the same time, because of the anti, anti inflammatory effect of your nucleic lavem and your focoidan, mah mahihinto yung, yung pain nila during menstruation. Squalene repairs damaged cells and promotes longevity. Also improves blood circulation. The reason why hindi magkakaroon ng stroke ang patient because of the presence of your squalene. That is 100 mg in one capsule. Extracted from the liver of sharks residing deep in the ocean. It can activate 
cells and increase oxygen intake, repair damaged cells, increase metabolism and blood circulation, strengthen body immune system, remove toxins from the body, regulate pain and restore physical health. Sir, bakit po ba yung patient po namin ang nagdadialysis na tutulungan? Simply because your squalene is removing the toxins in your body and your stem cell is improving the health of your kidney na nakakaihi po yung pasyente ng normal at sa pag-ihi po ng pasyente, na isasama yung dumi na nagsisirculate sa katawan ng pasyente. Because number one, because of the presence of stem cell. Second is because of the presence of your squalene in your body. Avocado oil rich in beta carotene and potassium. Sir, potassium is the food of your muscles. Kaya po, na-i-improve. There are lots of people. Yung nag-hypokalimia, ibig sabihin, hypokalimia, bagsak yung potassium sa katawan ng pasyente. Since ang potassium ang pagkain ng, ng muscles ng pasyente, ang pasyente o ang tao na bagsak ang potassium, hindi yan makalakad, hindi makatayo. If you feel like, upon waking up in the morning, it takes around 30 minutes for you to get up. It's because kakagising mo pa lang latang-lata na yung katawan mo. Pagod na pagod na yung katawan mo. Put that in mind that the reason of that, yung, yung sa gabi na, na, uh, napupulikat ka, Try to put that in mind. Na pag pinupulikat ka sa gabi, ibig sabihin nun, bagsak ang potasyo mo. At sa umaga, pagising mo, kakagising mo pa lang, parang latang-lata ka na pagod na pagod ka, bagsak ang potasyo sa katawan mo. And potassium is essential, very important sa heartbeat ng katawan natin. This is your... This is your example, this is your puso. Okay? Ito ang, ang muscles. Ang, ang nasa baba dito, muscles yan. Muscles yan. Dapat yung muscles, doon sa puso mo, punong-puno ng potassium. Kasi yan yung tutulong para mag-pump yung muscles mo. Para i-pump niya yung blood palabas sa puso mo, pa-circulate sa katawan mo kasi magdi-distribute ng oxygen yan hanggang dumaan yan again sa lungs, babalik sa puso mo. Pag wa walang potassium, yung muscles dito, hindi yan magpapump. Kaya walang proper oxygenation. It's because there's no proper distribution of blood as caused by absence of potassium in the muscles in the heart of the patient. Muscles in the, uh, potassium is essential in the muscles of the heart of the patient because without potassium, your patient will die. Your heart will not beat. Provides fatty acids required by the body, powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Tatandaan nyo specialization ng kurchi ng produkto, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer. Kuha nyo. Avocado is a strong antioxidant of high efficacy. It helps to reduce inflammation and the appearance of age spots, prevent allergy and relieves eczema. Again, yung kanina na pinag-usapan natin, evening primrose plus avocado oil, nagtatanggal po ng skin diseases or skin allergies, psoriasis of the patients. It is very important in the improvement of the patient's condition with regard to skin allergy. It can reduce the morbidity of cataract, kidney stone, strokes, and increase the elasticity of capillaries. May nagtanong sa akin, sir, Pwede po ba ito sa, sa may kidney stone? Sabi ko, yes. Why? Because of the presence of the avocado oil, which is 100 milligrams in our port, then it reduces the production of the kidney stone in our body. Sir, pwede po ba? Tatandaan nyo yung mga diabetic, that is, uh, those diabetic persons are candidate for blindness. Bakit po ba? Because of diabetic retinopathy, lumalapot ang dugo nila sa katawan natin and it is not uh, localized. This is applicable to all parts of the body. Pag yan po, nagkaroon po ng, ng uh, pag lumalapot po ang ugat, ang, uh, I mean, pag lumalapot ang dugo sa ugat ng pasyente, kasama po yung mata doon. Lumalapot yung, yung dugo sa ugat sa mata ng pasyente. At once nagkaroon po ng blockage, it will cause um, diabetic retinopathy, may detachment ng retina dun sa mata natin, kaya nabubulag ang pasyente. So isa sa palatandaan na malapot ang, ang dugo sa katawan nyo is when you face the mirror, pag 
maliligo ka, tingnan mo yung dito mo. Yung dito mo. Pag nakita mo yan, kulang na lang, spider, para magpaaway ka, doon sa spider web dyan, ibig sabihin, malapot ang dugo mo. Those are the false veins, which is medically known as your varicose veins. It could be that your, high, your blood pressure is high. Second is, malapot ang dugo mo. Third is, possible diabetic ka. Yan ay pwedeng mangyari sa ugat sa mata sa, uh, ugat sa, sa mata that can lead to blindness. Pag yan ay the, uh, cause ng diabetes, that is what we call blindness in diabetes mellitus. And that is what we call diabetic retin retinopathy in medical term. Sir, bakit natatanggal ang kidney stones kung maliliit pa lang? It's because of the presence of avocado oil na ilalabas niya yan sa kidney mo. Ilalabas niya yan sa ihi mo. And definitely, it's because of the presence of avocado oil sa, sa katawan natin, yung capillaries natin, yung maliliit na ugkat natin, hindi mabilis pubutok. That is sometimes causing stroke. That is sometimes causing what? Death of the patient because of the rupture of your capillaries in the body. Borage oil improves skin condition, maintains cholesterol level in the blood pressure. Sir, bakit nag-normal sa blood pressure ng patient pag umiinom ng purchir? Because of the presence of borage oil. Borage oil is oil but then this is a good cholesterol. At tandaan nyo, ang, ang, ang fat sa katawan na didissolve sa kapwa niya fats. Okay? It will only be dissolved in fats. Hindi na didissolve ang fat sa katawan dahil sa dami ng tubig na iniinom mo. Because of the presence of oil in your body, yung bad cholesterol na nu-neutralize, it's because tinutunaw siya ng good cholesterol para mailabas sa katawan mo. That is the reason why your borage oil in your porchid placenta helps in normalizing the blood pressure of the patient. It's because it removes the excess fats in the body by dissolving the bad cholesterol in your body because of the presence of borage oil. Is this a good cholesterol? Yes. Why? Because it is extracted from the plant sources. Reduces cholesterol, hypertension, and heart disease morbidity. Prevents diabetes caused by damage of nervous system and improves dry skin and eczema. It's proven by the laboratory research that it could reduce rheumatic joint pain. Aloe vera. Aloe vera, excellent source of amino acids. Active. Enzymes, vitamins, and nutrition complexes boost the immune system and improves digestion. Eto, kaya nga po yung mga colon cancer patients natin, nai-improve po ang digestion. Hindi nag i -stay yung toxins. Try to put in mind, bakit dumadami ang colon cancer, sir? Ikaw ba naman ang daanan araw-araw ng dumi? Siyempre, bibigay ka. Di po ba? Makadaan ka nga lang sa basuran. Ayaw. Galit na galit ka kasi sobrang baho. Ikaw pa kaya yung daanan ng, ng end product ng, ng digestion every day. So, ibig sabihin, yung kinakain natin na may mga cancer-producing foods, cancer-producing uh, materials na kinakain po natin araw-araw, yun yung nabibigay ng cancer ng nagkukos ng, ng pagproduce ng maraming cancer cells sa katawan natin. Kaya po, ang nangyayari, laging ang patient ngayon ang problema and I won't be wondering in the future if the number one cause of death all over the world is colon cancer because it is increasing its number as of this time, aside from COVID-19. So, ano ang pwede natin gawin? Sir, mag poichir placenta po kayo because of the presence of aloe vera extract. It is improving the digestion process of the patient and at the same time, the presence of focoid and the clavem and the presence of aloe vera is killing the cancer cells in your soma. So, yun ang sagot kung bakit na-address na ang problema sa colon cancer. So, it promotes, that is 10 milligrams only, aloe vera. It promotes health and has beautifying effects, contains numerous kinds of amino acids, active and soft vitamins, more than 76 types of nutrients and 200 types of no nutrition complexes, which are the necessary ingredients to maintain a healthy metabolism. 
system. Sir, question. Yung sinabi mo kanina, the number of nutrients seated by the body na inumin namin araw-araw para mabuhay po kami to achieve the mo optimum health. Naa-address po ba pag mag-take po kami ng porcher? Definitely yes. Because of the presence of aloe vera, that is 10 milligrams, ayan, 200 types of nutrients complexes. Andyan na po sa isang kapsula po natin. So nasagot po yung problema kanina that if you have one missing nutrient in your diet, one disease equivalent to one disease. Now, if you are taking porcher placenta, maa-address po ba yung problema? Para mas stop yung existence ng disease sa katawan po natin, yes. Because of aloe vera, it is helping our body to maintain the optimum health by, by providing the sufficient amount of nutrients needed by the body. How about lycopene? Natural carotenoids known as the super antioxidants. It delays aging because of your lycopene. Because of, nakikita nyo, pag kumakain, mahili kayong kumain ng, ano, ng, ng tomatoes, namumula-mula dito, yung pamumula ng pisngi mo, ng natural blushing effects is caused by the presence of lycopene if you are eating tomatoes. Okay? Kaya lang, I won't recommend eating lots of tomatoes because as far as I can remember, tomatoes has pH of 4. That is highly acidic. Okay? So instead of eating tomatoes, then take porcher. Kasi meron tayong lycopene. And definitely lycopene is anti-cancer as well. And it delays aging because that is rich in vitamin C as well. Vitamin C is important and very, very essential in the production and replenishment of collagen in our body. So laging tinatanong, bakit pag may sugat, ang nangyayari pag may sugat, ang bilis ng healing process. So because of vitamin C. So what does vitamin do in our body? Vitamin C does in our body. Sir, it helps in early healing. Sa anong paraan? Tapos ang usapan. Even nurses, if you ask them, hindi nila alam kung paano nakakapag-help ang vitamin C sa early healing ng pasyente, ng, ng sugat ng pasyente. The real answer for that is, the accurate answer for that is, vitamin C is responsible for the replenishment of collagen. Collagen is very important in the healing process. Kasi siya yung magtutuyo at mag-aampat ng pagdurugo ng sugat ng pasyente at mabilisang pagaling ng sugat ng pasyente. Because of the vitamin C that is important in the replenishment of pagdagdag o pagproduce ng collagen sa katawan ng pasyente, nakakatulong siya for early healing. And at the same time, baba natin niya yung skin mo because of the antioxidant effect and anti um, yung pag pag uh, tanggal po ng ng tissues, pagkasira ng tissues. Yun ang inaayos ng collagen in our body. That is 50 milligrams of lycopene. This is antioxidant which slows down the aging process, regulates cell growth, growth and metabolism, prevents tumor growth because of anti-coagulant and anti-inflammatory effect of vitamin C, which is present in your lycopene, uh, lycopene as well. Regulates cholesterol and lipid metabolism. Sir, bakit po ba hindi nagkakaroon ng stroke ang mga patients? Or after stroke, bakit nakaka, nakaka balik po ng strength ng patient, ng stroke patient because of the presence of lycopene as well? It regulates cholesterol and lipid metabolism, prevents cerebrovascular disease, and promotes healthiness of the prostate. Sir, bakit po ba yung mga may breast cancer and prostate cancer gumagaling? Simple, may focoida na, may nucleoclabim pa, meron pang stem cell, meron pang lycopene, which is 50 milligrams. And that is helping your prostate not to be inflamed. Okay. So far, tatandaan lang palagi. Reversing the aging process, our Porchia placenta protects, defend, and shield our body from the diseases. Ano ang wala sa ibang produkto? Yung regeneration which is present in our Porchia placenta because of the presence of your stem cell, rebuild, and revitalize your organs. It boosts the immune system. It activates the soldiers in our body, and it strengthens 
our resistance and immune system to fight against those non-communicable diseases that I have discussed with you and at the same time, those viruses that enters our body. It's the immune system that will kill the microorganisms, specifically the viruses and the bacteria with the help of our Fucoida, Nucleoclavem, and the rest of the content of our Porcher placenta. It protects the fan shield, boosts up weight, strengthens, regenerate, rebuild, and revitalize. So these are the diseases na sinabi ko kanina na pwedeng i-prevent and the rest. Ang dami pa. Cancer lang, cancer, gastric, hepato, cellular carcinoma, cancer of your liver, breast cancer, colon cancer, cervical cancer, prostate cancer. Lahat ng cancer sa buong mundo. Okay? Heart disease, stroke, diarrhea, Hypertension, high cholesterol, high levels of sugar, diabetes, premature baby, autism, joint pain, and arthritis as well. So, ang dami niyan. Picturean niyo po. Sinus, insomnia. Yung may sinusitis, allergic rhinitis. Alam mo, pag may allergic rhinitis ka, yung kagigising mo pa lang sa umaga, ang sipon ng sipon ka, yung tulo ng tulo yung sipon mo, pero fluid siya. That is an indication that you are having allergic rhinitis. Na pagsikat ng araw, pusa siyang nawawala, at least allergic rhinitis. You just need to boost the immune system para matanggal po iyon. Sobrang dami o. Oh. Even HIV. Okay? Chronic inflammatory diseases. For the beauty, it rev for revitalization and slowly reverse the aging process. Get new active cell tissues and organs. For the women's breast and vaccine streamer and full surplus. Um, Inaano niya, yung pag-lose ng tissues natin, inaayos niya. Kasi, di ba, makikita mo sa isang sa isang skin pag sobrang ano niya, sobrang bagsak ang collagen. Nag, Nag-dra-drop. Yung eye bags, yung dito, nagsasag. Kaya minsan 30 years old pa lang, akala niyo 50 anos na 60 anos niya. So, I'm pretty sure and I hope that each and every one of you who are attending this training have your own um, battle of Porchi Placenta in your bag. Every time you go out, every time, kahit uh, nasa office kayo, hindi yan sobrang laki para ilagay nyo sa bag nyo. Para pag nakalimutan nyo, dapat meron kayong Porchi Placenta sa bahay, merong Porchi Placenta kayo sa bag nyo na hindi nyo tinatanggal. That every time you go out, Nakalimutan mong iminom sa bahay dahil nagmamadali. You have your porch here in your bag that you can take in your office. You can take everywhere you want to go. Na-discuss ko na lahat ito kanina. Try to put in mind that the pandemic may judge really realize that even the rich and famous are afraid to die. Money can save our souls, pay the dust. We establish your belief and redeem your immaculate relationship with God. That is according to Milky. Ito ang tatandaan niya ha. I've been a nurse half of my life. And then I've been working as an emergency room church nurse. And mostly, ang dadating sa ER namin, lalo na paggabi, puro ano, malala na yan. So people will be begging of your life extension. It's because they never realize the importance of wellness products until such time that they arrive in the emergency room dying. So I've been a nurse half my life, and I saw how people struggle and beg for life extension in their deathbeds. It is then that they wanted to try everything, even how expensive it is just to be treated and live longer. Why should we wait for the time na ando na tayo sa deathbed natin bago natin na may realize na may pera pala tayong pambili? They only realize the importance of healthy living when they are already dying from the disease. So our body is a wonderland until we, until we destroy it. It is not too late to regain the freshness of your body, healthy, eat healthy and live longer. So... Ayon. Thank you so much. And I'm now open for questions.